Hello everyone, welcome to the spiderweb. I'm Agent Spider, and I have something to talk about, as usual. So, as I've been gaining more and more subscribers, I can't believe I'm already past 600. I was just celebrating hitting 600 subscribers, and here we are. Over 630? Like, this is crazy, bro. I appreciate all of the support, and I love all the engagement with all these new subscribers coming in asking questions about Marth and questions about me. One of those questions is one I've been asked more and more about as I get better at the game. Why don't you go to tournaments? Looking back, I see why so many people ask me this question because I play well at random times. So well, in fact, I nearly upset very good players. Last year in 2022 at a 404, I nearly upset Fatality with Corrin. I had a two stock lead in game two and Fatality was actually a little tilted from the looks of it, but I ended up tunnel visioning because I had a good lead and I was like, oh, I can just do whatever now. And then he ended up reading my bad habits and killed me for it. So that's how I lost that, despite playing really good, despite nearly defeating him, he was on last stock over 120% and I still bombed. And then I took a decent break from the game. I took like four or five months off and all my friends were telling me like, go back, You're like you nearly beat Fatality, get back into playing Smash. And I was like, okay, fine. So I get back into playing Smash and getting better and better and to my surprise, I made top eight like three times. And this was like months ago, months from this video. Like I'm talking like almost four months. Although I did participate in a decent amount of other locals prior to my results actually coming in. So I was playing for almost a year competitively in total. Although I did take breaks here and there. And the main thing that had a lot of my friends and basically my viewers confused is that I play good against really good players, but I still don't go to tournaments. And I have results, but I still don't go to tournaments as much. Literally, I was playing against Jax um, a few months ago. This was, this was before I had results, okay? I was playing against Jax. I had close games against the Jax, the best Lucina in the state. I was playing Marth only. And he was like, literally, I was landing tippers on him and stuff. And he was like, Dude, you can literally be the best Marth man in Georgia if you just keep going with Marth. Literally, I was thinking he was going to tell me to drop Marth because he was saying he didn't like playing Marth because Marth was hard. But here I am playing, like, actually keeping up with him in some of these games. And he's like, dude, keep playing Marth. I know you can do it. Like, keep playing Marth. I was surprised. And I was like, okay. Well, if the Jax literally told me that I could become the best Marth in Georgia, I'm going to keep playing. And then, yeah, I get results. Like, I take Medify lessons. I play against some other good players every now and then. Sometimes I just try to do it for, like, best of fives, like, just to chill and get some tips. But literally, I was playing against Ignaz not too long ago, and I had some really close games with him. At first, I was getting destroyed, and then he gave me some really good tips. And then I, my Marth just leveled up, and we started having really close games. He beat me in all of them because he's better in those high pressure situations than I am. And he got me with some really good Marth tricks and he just knows the Marth matchup so well. But like, still, I was doing really good considerably. And I also learned a lot from Stretch. Stretch really helped a lot. Same to Ignace, but Stretch, he basically gave me the basics of why I was losing a lot, or like as Marth specifically. Because there's a lot of things you see now. Like, if you look at my YouTube videos, you see me going for shield breakers and falling dancing blades a lot more. And you sometimes see me, like, use shield breaker in random spots. Like, literally, I'm falling. Like, you think I'm going to do a falling arrow, but then I do a falling shield breaker. I never did that until Stretch told me to do that. And now I'm winning a lot more games and getting results. Because people do not expect me to do, like, falling dancing blades or falling um, shield breakers because typically I do falling forward airs and falling nares and they're like oh he's not gonna do much I'm just gonna parry if they try to parry I'm gonna hit him with a dancing blade they parry the first hit and I keep beating them up for the rest and then at 
that point, they're like, oh, I got to keep holding shield. Now I can fall shield breaker and their shield's broken. And they're dead at like 35. So Stretch helped me with those little tricks like that. And then Ignace helped me get a better neutral and a better advantage state. Mainly advantage state. He showed me a lot in regards to edge guarding and blood strapping. I feel like my Marth is now really good and it translated to my Corrin a lot as well. Because my Corrin has become a lot more mean. My friends, look, some of my friends are like some of the best in the state. I'm friends with one of the best in Cinemore players in Georgia. I play against him a lot. I play against the second best Fox in Georgia. I actually take a decent amount of games off of him. And he's like, dude, go to tournaments. <laughs> like he's always trying to get me to go to tournaments. But I I'll either never have time or I'm just not feeling it. And then my Marth nearly took a game off of Gregorian after Gregorian like destroyed my Corrin. Heh, <laughs> that rhymes. But yeah, I have the results. I play good against top players. Although I never beat them, I still play really good against them. I have the potential to upset them. Because literally, back then, again, I wasn't playing as good as I was. It was only after Stretch and Ignace helped me out to a point where I'm now playing really, really well. As long as I'm not tilted. And here we go to the main reason why I don't play in tournaments right now. I get tilted so freaking easily. It used not to be like this before. Like when I was getting the results, I wasn't getting tilted as easily. But nowadays I'm getting so tilted because I have a lot going on. College work, actual work, other heartbreak in other areas in terms of my family and some quote unquote friends who I thought were friends and then they kind of did me dirty. I won't even say kinda, some just did me very dirty. Bruh. Is this some kind of twisted joke? It hurt a lot. And then there was a decent amount of people telling me that, oh, you'll never win, like, you'll never be good at this game because you play Marth and you play Corrin and those characters are bad. <coughs> and so I just ended up quitting. I don't even say quitting. I technically tried to quit. I actually tried to quit at one point before, but I ended up coming back in the Smash. So me saying, oh, I'm going to quit, I didn't actually quit. I, I don't think I ever will actually quit this game at this point. Maybe when I get older, of course, but really I'm just on a break. I haven't played in tournaments for like months. So the main reason why I'm not competing right now is just a lot going on and my mentality. I just need to fix it. I need to fix my mentality before I even consider going back. And I know I, when I do fix my mentality, I will be playing really, really well. Because literally, I play against top players and I lose. But even though I lose, I still play really good despite being somewhat tilted. Or despite being upset or nervous or whatever. Like, if I can just shake all this off. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could be PR in Georgia. I honestly believe I am the best Corrin in Georgia. And I do believe I'm the best Marth in Georgia. But I just get tilted. Like in terms of me doing the combos and winning neutral and everything, yes. But as soon as I lose for whatever reason, or as soon as I mess up or maybe get distracted and then I start losing, it, 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 it's just so much. I just have to really dial down and figure out the root of all this all this nonsense i'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with the things that are happening outside of the smash scene like in terms of my family and my quote unquote friends like some of my friends that weren't really friends like i mentioned before and then my trash job experience and yeah there's just a lot thankfully i've been getting a lot better friends who actually understand me i've been trying to open up a lot more just to get some things off my chest and you know just trying to be a better person because I will never be good at Smash if I don't become good myself if you know what I mean it's really just my mentality holding me back I don't have anything else holding me back it's just me I hate it but I'm up for the challenge hopefully I can start competing a lot more in 2024 that's like 
the year I want to really burst out. 2024, mark my words. I right, thank you for watching and keep gaming.